Hello friends, welcome back to my channel on Feral's Mad World and this is Feral. You are watching me on Feral's Mad World playlist. India lands first time on moon on 22nd October 2008 and this mission was launched by India called Chandrayaan 1. Spacecraft reached the moon and it found out something very interesting which was headlines all over the world. Water on the moon. Chandrayaan 1 for the first time brings out evidence that there is water on the moon. Water is present in the south pole of the moon and with this news, all the countries of the world had the craze to explore the moon. Missions are sent regularly by USA, by NASA, by China to the moon. Israel tried to do soft landing on the moon. Many lunar missions are planned by Japan, Europe and Russia. So what are all the missions that are conducted on the moon? What is Chandrayaan 3 mission and what did it find out? What is the failure for Chandrayaan 2 mission? Let's find out all this in this video. Chandrayaan 2 was a rover mission and if it had gone according to the plan, Vikram landed would have done soft landing on the moon and Pragaran rover would have stepped out. But unfortunately, this did not happen. On 6 September 2019, when Vikram lander was preparing to land on the moon, it crashed. According to the failure committee report that was released in November 2019, clearly mentioned that this happened because of software glitch. ISRO never made this report public and that is why ISRO was criticized by people. Until now, ISRO was very transparent. It told people everything about its success, about the failure, the reasons behind the failure. And until few months, ISRO uh, said that the lander is intact. Just that it is tilted and lying on the moon. But with public pressure on 1st January 2020, ISRO revealed that the lander has crashed and has been completely destroyed. Up to an altitude of 2.1 km. Subsequently, the communication from lander to ground station was lost. The data is being analyzed. So what exactly happened? Well, when Vikram was around 2 km away, it lost the contact with the surface and when it was around 335 meters um, above the surface, Isro lost the contact. ISRO's chief S. Somnath revealed that there was a problem with the Vikram's engine. Now there are five engines in Vikram out of which the one engine had high level of thrust and because of which the Vikram got unstable. Vikram had to take pictures and had to decide where to land but because it was unstable it was not able to take pictures and when it tried to correct its position it started spinning and it started spinning so fast that it lost its control and it crashed. Now let's talk about Chandrayaan 3. Chandrayaan 3 had the same motive what Chandrayaan 2 had. The new module had many modifications so that it can minimize the mistake. Landing area has been enlarged which means that Chandrayaan 2 had a smaller space for landing that is 500 meter by 500 meter but with Chandrayaan 3 the space was enlarged by 4 km into 2.4 km which makes the landing space 40 times bigger. Chandrayaan 3 has been given more fuel so that it can stay on the top surface and can find a perfect landing spot. The software has been updated of Chandrayaan 3 so that it can spin faster if needed. Chandrayaan 3 will not be dependent on the pictures because Chandrayaan 2 has its orbiters around the moon and it has taken high definition pictures. So this high definition pictures have been fed to Vikram and so the landing positions can be decided correctly. So as I mentioned Chandrayaan 3 rover is similar to Chandrayaan 2 but this time the legs are more stronger and the sensors are more powerful. And the mission is to do soft landing on the south pole of the moon. This is a big victory for India because no other countries have done that. To touch down on the south pole of the moon and with the huge success that was celebrated all over the world, Pragyan found oxygen and sulfur on the moon. So now let's understand about this. So on 23rd August 2023, Chandrayaan 3 landed on the moon. So on 24th August 2023, Vikram lander took down Pragyan rover down the ramp to start its mission. So from 24th of August till 4th of September, ISRO kept us informing that how this program is gathering all the information from the moon and then it is kept on the sleep mode. 
So what are the observations that is made in this 12 days? The chaste instrument took its first reading. The chaste is abbreviated for Chandraya surface thermophysical experiment. Its job is to measure the temperature of the top soil of the moon. Chase has 10 sensors to measure this. Temperature probe can go 10 cm below the surface of the moon. The reading that was found was really shocking. Just by going down 10 cm below the soil of the moon, the temperature changed drastically. Just going down by 1 cm below the soil of the moon and the temperature change is 10 degrees. On the surface of the moon, the temperature is 60 degree. But just by going down 1 cm in the soil of the moon, the temperature changes by 10 degrees Celsius. So when it went just 8 cm below the surface, the temperature was minus 10 degree. Pragyan has a payload called LIPS and the full form of LIPS is Laser Induced Breakdown Spectroscopy Instrument. This is for the first time which was done on ground on the south pole of the moon and that is why this is called first ever in situ measurement. This instrument is developed by ISRO and its work is to measure the rock and the soil of the moon. And how does this work? So hear me out. It uses high energy laser pulses. The laser is focused on the soil of the moon whose temperature is very high. Now this gets converted into plasma. So what is plasma? There is four state of matter, solid, liquid and gas. And the fourth one is called plasma. When the gas is put into extremely high temperature, it gets converted into plasma. And plasma emits light. Now with this light, different elements produces different wavelength of light. And with this instrument lips, it can measure the different wavelength of the light present in the soil of the moon and from which it can say that which elements are present in the soil of the moon. So now you know how this lips function. Laser induced breakdown spectroscopy instrument. So laser is induced in the soil. Plasma is created. Plasma reading is done with wavelength through spectroscopy. So now with this, the elements which are present in the soil was found. And the elements that were found are aluminum, iron, titanium, sulfur, calcium, chromium. And all these findings are really accurate because this is in situ measurements. Now besides sulfur, manganese, silicon and oxygen has also been confirmed that they are present in the moon. Now you must be wondering that there is no atmosphere on moon. So how is oxygen present? So let me tell you. Since there is no atmosphere on the moon, the oxygen is present in the soil of the moon. This oxygen can be used for so many reasons and one of the reasons is that if in future if astronauts would like to have a base on moon, this oxygen from the soil can be used. And the oxygen quantity on moon is so large enough that it can sustain 1 billion people for 100,000 years. And NASA has already been working in extracting oxygen from the moon. So now let's talk about this instrument called APXS, which is Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer Instrument, which is in short called APEX. Now APEX and LIPS are almost similar but are used for different purposes. LIPS uses laser pulses but APEX uses radioactive material. APEX has radioactive source when alpha particle and X-ray interact with atoms of the moon surface. The electrons of the material present on the surface are released and they start emitting X-rays. APEX's detectors identify different elements. RAMBA is an instrument on Vikram. And the full form of RAMBA is Radio Anatomy of Moon Hypersensitive Ionosphere and Atmosphere. This instrument also analyzes plasma like lips but it does not create plasma. It measures natural plasma that is present in the moon. This instrument is 1 meter long metallic spherical probe in the upper deck of Vikram. In this pic published by ISRO, you can see the shadow of Ramba instrument. Moon has no atmosphere but it has plasma on the surface and this was detected by the instrument Ramba. Ramba detected that there is very small quantity of plasma uh, is present in the surface of the moon. When there is a quake on, the, uh, on earth, it's called earthquake. Similarly, when there is a quake on the moon, it is called moonquake. And this is detected by the instrument called ILSA. ILSA 
and the full form of this instrument is Instrument for Lunar Seismic Activity. ILSA is used to record vibrations when Pragyan rover started moving on the moon's surface. Those vibrations were recorded by ILSA. You can see the graph. When the rover was moving, you will notice a line in the middle. On 26 August, a natural event occurred and at this point, a natural quake occurred on the moon. At the start of the video, I mentioned that there are different uh, missions that are sent on the moon. So let me just explain you quickly what are those missions. The first mission is flyby mission. As the name suggests, the flyby mission is, in this, spacecraft is sent to the space which passes by the moon, which means it doesn't orbit around the moon, but just flies by the moon and leaves. The first successful flyby mission was done by Soviet Union in 1959 when the spacecraft Lunar 1 passed by the moon. Exactly two months later, America launched its Pioneer 4 as a flyby mission. The aim was to study moon from distance. In October 1959, Soviet Union um, launches Lunar 3 on moon and we are able to see the moon for the first time because the pictures were taken. The pictures were taken from the dark side of the moon which you see from the earth. Today, no longer the flyby missions are done. The flyby missions are only done when moon is on the way for some other missions. But if, we, if they want to study moon further, there is a second mission which is called orbiter mission. From there, they study the moon's surface and atmosphere. Till date, 40 successful orbiter missions have been conducted. And this is the most common type of mission. The first orbiter mission was done in 1966 by Soviet Union and the name of the mission was Luna 10. So now let's quickly move on to the next one which is called impact mission. Impact missions are the extensions of orbiter missions. The main spacecraft continues orbit around the moon but a part of spacecraft gets detached and crash lands on the moon. Because it impacts with moon during crash landing, the mission is called impact mission. You must be thinking why crash landing and what is the importance. While the time it takes while to crash on the land of the moon, that time is very important. Many readings and findings can be done during that point of time. That is why this mission is very useful and it is called impact mission. Chandrayaan 1 was the part of impact mission. The part that is separated from the spacecraft is crash landed on the moon and it is called moon impact probe. The moon impact probe of Chandrayaan 1 was equipped with CHASE and CHASE is an instrument and the full form of CHASE is Chandra's Attitudinal Composition Explorer. The moon impact probe was crushed on Skakelton crater and the point of impact was named as Jawahar point. So now let's go on to the fourth mission which is called lander mission. And here the mission is sent not for crushing but for the soft landing on the moon. And the part that lands on the moon is called lander and this mission is not easy as it seems. It's very complicated. US and Soviet Union tried this mission for the 15 times and it failed. And with 15 times of failing, you can see how complicated this mission is. In 1966, the first successful lander mission was done by Soviet Union by its mission called Lunar 9. And this was the world's first successful spacecraft landing on the moon. And you can see the pictures taken on the surface of the moon. So now let's move on to the next mission, the fifth mission, which is called the rover mission. In rover mission, the lander is very heavy and bulky. And so when it lands on the moon, it stays at one place and doesn't move. So if they want to move, rovers are the ones that moves. Now what are rovers? Rovers are the small robots which have wheels attached to them. They move out of the lander and then they move around the surface. Rovers has direct contact on the surface of the moon. The first successful rover was sent uh, on moon in the year 1970. And guess which country it is? Once again, it was Soviet Union. So now let's move on to the last and the final mission, which is called human mission, where humans are put in the lander and are landed on the moon. And instead of the rovers, humans are the first one to put their feet on the land on the surface of the moon. And America was the first one to do this. And everybody knows about the Neil Armstrong, the first astronaut that landed on the moon. NASA sent last human on the moon was in the year 1972. And after that, no humans have landed on the moon. 
and uh, till now till date only 12 people have landed on the moon and they are all from NASA. Only after the first historic step of Neil Armstrong on the moon, technologies were developed and then rover missions started. And so that is why no humans have landed on the moon after that. So coming back to Chandrayaan 3, uh, on 3rd September 2023, ISRO conducted an experiment which is called HOP experiment with Vikram. So the original point where Vikram was landed is called Shiv Shakti. Now in this hop experiment, the Vikram's engine was fired up again and it was lifted 40 centimeters above the surface of the moon and it was moved forward 40 to 50 centimeters and it landed back. So to conduct this experiment, ramp of Pragyan was folded, Chased and Elsa payload were taken inside. The importance of this hop experiment was to see that if lander can fly back again so that in future if we have humans in this lander, humans can be brought back to earth. On 4th September around 8 o'clock in the morning, Pragyan and Vikram were both put in the sleep mode by ISRO. This is done for them to get prepared for the lunar nights. It is done 2-3 to three days before the lunar nights so that the models can shut down completely. Prakyan battery was fully charged before putting them into the sleep mode. And the location is set in a such a way that when the sun rises back after 14 days, uh, their solar panels are facing towards the sunlight. Though their modules have been shut down but their receivers are still on. And you know what, on 23rd of September, the whole world would be waiting that if Pragyan and Vikram are ready, back again to say good morning to us and if they wake up it is fantastic they would do the experiments further but if not then Pragyan will remain on the moon and will be considered as India's lunar ambassador forever so friends this is it thank you so much for watching this video I hope it was informative and if you like my content you know what to do right don't forget to like don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe and notification bell is very important because it will help you to notify about all my videos. So do it.